also as a Rocket League YouTuber that does a lot of trading, I get a lot of my subscribers asking me the question, what item should I put my money into? What should I purchase at the current market moment? What item will rise in price? What's going to happen with the market? And a lot of times I don't like to answer those questions because I'm not too sure of. But today, we got a new series, High Tier Trading. I'm going to let you know what you can invest in. Hey, what is up YouTube? This is Redcar200. Welcome to the channel guys. We've got an awesome video for you today. Obviously if you enjoy, make sure you give the content a thumbs up. It really helps me know whether I should continue making content like this. Obviously subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel grow. If you're interested in a giveaway, I'm giving away a slipstream just like this. Doesn't that look fire? For free, as well as a Trigon. In my Discord, the link is down below. Let's get right to our video. So I want to make sure I remind you that this video is based on investments. So obviously you're going to put your credits into something and you're going to let time run by, not sure how much, and then obviously later on this would make you some more profit. So we got to be patient. This is not something that's going to come out you know, from one day to the next. You got to give this some time to see how the market plays out. But remember, investment. So the first thing I highly encourage you to get are these inverted pyro reels that you see me rolling with. So you might ask, why are these reels so important? Why should I put my money into this? All right, let me give you some background information on this. So Psyonix recently released these three bundles. One of them is called Playing With Fire. That bundle has these wheels attached to them. This is the thing though. If you purchase anything from the item shop, it automatically gets locked onto your account. But when this bundle was released for about an hour, people that purchased them received this glitch where they're now able to trade away these pyro wheels. And that's how I went ahead and picked them up. So please understand this. Very few people have these wheels. The next thing is, if you would purchase this Playing With Fire bundle, these wheels will be trade locked onto your account and you can't trade them away. Next thing is, these wheels aren't even priced on rl.insider.gg. That's how rare they are. So what that means in the market is that these wheels are priced all over the place. I picked mine up for less than a thousand, which I'll show you clips of them. But these wheels are going for more than a thousand, 2,500. I saw some guy trying to sell them for 6,000. The market for these wheels are all over the place because no one knows how much they're worth. This is the thing though. The price will obviously increase for them when this bundle is no longer available. And it clearly tells us on the blog that this is for a limited time and to look out for future bundles to come. So that is why I highly encourage you to pick up these wheels because I picked mine up the cheapest 500 credits which is a deal. If you want to pick up some more to make a good investment for later on I highly encourage if you have the credits to do so. Let's move on to our next investment. Yo, Red, you were wrong about what you said in your most recent video. What, what are you talking about? Yeah, you said if I buy the Playing With Fire bundle, my pyros would be glitched and I'd be able to trade them away, and I can't. They're trade locked onto my account. I never told you to buy those. Yeah, you did. You even told me to use your creator code, Red. And that's what I did. And now, you owe me 3,000 credits. I'm not going to pay you 3,000 credits. Well, let's 1v1 then. Oh, dude, I already told you I'm not going to 1v1 you. And stop spamming me, 1v1. I ain't gonna do it. Why? I don't need to prove anything to you. What, you chicken? You chicken. So a small little investment that I like to do, especially right now that a lot of black markets are dropping in price, is you could purchase black markets uh, 50 under the minimum. So let's just say this Trigon is 250 credits. Obviously you pay 200 or 150. And I know some of you might be thinking, no one, no one sells them to you at that. They will. If you put a a offer saying that you're gonna pay uh, a certain price, like uh, these Spectres, I've been buying, I've been buying some for uh, 150 credits. And you might ask, why do you, you know, why do you want these? Obviously, you could sell them away. You could sell them at mid price, or you could sell them at high, um, in order to make some profit back. You know, it's just an easy way to make some tra transactions. But I like to have them when someone tells me to add. 
you know, because I'm short. Then I add a Trigon, I add a Spectre, I add a, a certain black market, and they make it seem, make the, it makes the offer seem a lot better because you're offering a black market. And I'm only going for black markets that I feel are a nice looking decal, such as a Streamline, a Spectre, a Wet Paint, a Trigon, a uh, Paraxel. Uh, only black markets that I feel that people will be willing to purchase from you, the ones that people are looking for. And I buy them 50 credits under the minimum, which is, you know, easy, easy credits there. And then obviously you could either sell them away or you could use them as add-ons uh, to other trades, other bigger trades that you're hoping to do. So what do you think the best black market in the game is? Well, to me, it's Heatwave, baby. But to my subscribers, it's definitely Dueling Dragons. So what that means is that if my fan base thinks it's Dueling Dragons, chances are the community probably thinks the same thing, that it would be Dueling Dragons as well. So because the majority of the players think Dueling Dragons is a blessed back market, we're going to go ahead and pick one up. And you might say, well, how, for how much? 2300 was the cheapest I bought one for. And there's actually two people willing to sell it to me at that price. I just didn't pick up the other one because I didn't have the, the amount of credits. Because I purchased one at 2500 and then I purchased another one at 2300 This is the thing, though. The item shop is slowly killing the Dueling Dragon. Okay, obviously it was worth a lot more. But now that the item shop has already had white and black, which are probably the two best colors, that Dueling Dragon price will obviously increase because they're going to have other colors that, and they'll probably have Burnt Sienna in there. I can only imagine how much people would want that, but obviously Dueling Dragons, people are going to want it. So we're going to go ahead and pick one up on the cheap right now. You alright? Comment down, bro. I've already spent 3,000 credits. Now you're asking me to spend 2,300? What happened to your 100 or your 200 credit advice, bro? Hey, man. It's called high tier trading. You're playing with the big boys now. You're a big boy, right? Yeah, I'm a big boy. A big boy that's broke, man. What are you talking about, big boy? <laughs> so you're going to go ahead and create an offer that you're willing to pay 2300 for a Dueling Dragon. And trust me, someone will come. Hey, just be patient with it. Obviously, willing to negotiate. This is the thing about the Dueling Dragon. It's going to increase in price, but you got to be patient with it. You could even sell it away as well as midpoint right now. I know I had recently a guy offer me 2700 and I believe I had another one offer me 2800 So you could definitely make your credits back just by selling it away. But I'd encourage you to hold on to it. Get something even better than that. Let's talk about our last tip. So before we get to our last tip, I want to talk to you about my sponsor. He's always there for me. I could always go to him for advice. He'll listen to me. I could communicate to him at 5 a.m. It doesn't matter. Anytime, anywhere, God will always be there. So I want to remind you, don't get obsessed with all this trading. Okay? Your life is meaningful because he chose you to live your life. And you got to make it valuable. And if you were to die today, none of this trading will mean absolutely nothing. No one will care about you having the nicest things. So make sure you look for him because you could accept him whenever you like. It is totally up to you. And I want to make sure I remind you of those things. Hopefully you take my advice. Look for my sponsor, God. Let's get back to our video. Man, Rhett, that's some deep stuff right there, man. You make me thinking. Totally earn my respect. You definitely know chicken. Why do you got to do the noises then, bro? You trying to say something? Nah. <laughs> for real though, you got me thinking. So for our last investment, I highly encourage you to pick up Painted Dominuses. They are so ridiculously overpriced, I know, and that's probably what you're thinking. But the, the big thing about it is that you can't really get them anymore. They are very rare. I've been doing trade up after trade up after trade up. In my most recent video, I spent 3,200 credits on 80 non crave very rares and not even a Dominus in sight. I really don't even think you could get them through there anymore. Hey, that is how ridiculously rare they are. But if you have some, 
my goodness, people will overpay for them, and I'm willing to overpay, and I don't ever pay for anything. Okay. I recently picked up a pink Dominus with a dueling dragon, and that's why I'm encouraging you to get dueling dragons because that will be your gateway to that expensive item that you are wanting to get. Because hey, remember, it's the best black it's the best black market in the game, and that is why I encourage you to get those. So then that way we could turn around take our investment and invest it into something that is worth a lot more and yes I picked up a pink dominus with one dueling dragon I didn't think the guy was take it I was willing to overpay but he went ahead and said okay and I was definitely fine with that hey and I'm trying to get another one with it and that's where it's you know becoming a little harder to do so but that dueling dragon is your gateway to getting that really expensive item but if you don't know what to invest in Dominuses. Painted Dominuses. Trust me. They're worth the price. So I've been trying to get painted Dominuses. Uh, just the color that I don't have for the Dueling Dragon and the Pyro Inverted Wheels. But it might be a little too soon for them. I, I might have to wait for the Dueling Dragon and the Pyros in order to increase or to become more valuable. Then at that point, bam. I got what I want. Another painted Dominus. And obviously you could add to, you know, you could add credits to that offer, you could add, you know, black markets to that offer, but since I'm trying to get it cheap, you know, that is my offer at this current price moment, which is okay. I'll probably wait for them to increase, obviously. Remember, the Dominus is one of the most popular cards in Rocket League, and if you have a painted one, oh, that price, there were so much. If they don't fix that trade-up system in order for you to get more painted Dominuses, Man, you have a gold mine right there because a lot of people want them. Check out this pink Dominus. I've been getting so many compliments about it being such a nice car. All right, guys, but that goes ahead and concludes my video. Let me know in the comments down below, you know, which idea you like, which one are you gonna invest in? Hey, obviously, if you enjoyed the content, make sure you give the content a like. It really drives what I, you know, pretty much put on my channel. And obviously, if you like it, then we'll go ahead and see about making another one. I appreciate all the support, guys. Thank y'all for watching. God bless you guys.